How's it going, everyone? Michael Maley here, BMW Myrtle Beach. Are you one of those people who just agonizes over color and decisions and indecisions, like really obsesses about it? Yeah, I know exactly what you feel like. You know, I've been thinking about the grays. A lot of my customers think about the grays as well, too. Such a cool color, you know, not quite silver, not quite black, something in between. Well, here we go. Skyscraper gray in an X7, Brooklyn gray, metallic in a two series. Let's check it out. All right, so starting with the skyscraper gray in this X7, you know, obviously the metallic flake is more extreme uh, in the sun. Kind of see that shimmer there. I think with that metallic, um, as as you probably know, then the darks are a little more contrastive than the lights. Of course, the shade is now an issue with the sun hiding behind the clouds, but um, it just is kind of more shimmery in some spots, more dark. I see sometimes more gold from the reflective in this. And then if we go over to the uh, Brooklyn Gray, you know, it's strange. I feel like in a lot of videos I've seen, you get a little bit of a blue hue. Sometimes I feel like that's the sky. It's sometimes the paint. Um, I'm eager to see how this video comes out. It, it could be even the color settings in the phone. Um, I wouldn't say matte, obviously, but more flat. So there is a metallic shimmer. Again, with the sun out, you could see it more. There is a metallic shimmer, and it has a little bit of that gold look in it in some cases, but... For the most part, it really is just a light gray. Yes, maybe a bluish hue here or there, but uh, not often. And then again, when you look at it by itself, um, it, it'll change on you. Lighter sometimes, I think, than darker sometimes. And then kind of compared to the uh, skyscraper gray, which um, sort of reminds me of the old BMW space gray of sorts. Really a cool color. I pulled the silver car up next to this space gray, sorry, <laughs> Brooklyn gray, and... Um, Similar, you know, definitely more matted, more muted. Um, but I think it's a really neat, fun color. And I, I really, um, as it's becoming more mainstream, I think that's okay. And other manufacturers are doing something different. Uh, Mercedes has uh, a few different variations too. So just a little more perspective for you and insight on how these look together. Kind of an overshot. Um, and they do, I feel like they do change when they're next to each other too. So if you just saw Space Gear by itself, it might appear a little lighter. Uh, and same, get, same, same with the uh, other, sorry, Brooklyn Gray. I got Space Gray on my mind for some reason. Uh, anyway, just wanted to kind of throw that out there because I know uh, uh, a lot of people are kind of agonizing. What a fun thing to agonize about, right? With all the uh, issues going on in the world. Nice to have a contrast. Here's some sun I was kind of waiting for in this video. A little bit of reflective there um, that you can kind of see. It's still kind of hard to see the flake, but Really a nice color. I think if you wanted a silver color and you couldn't get silver, that's kind of a nice contrast. If you really like the darker gray, I mean, that's a really good color too. There's some sun coming out now for you. Um, so definitely you see that shimmer, I think. You can see that in the sun. And I feel like the shimmer really changes it more than in the uh, skyscraper than the Brooklyn. Yes, the shimmer makes a roll here. This does have more of that you know, people call it that primer paint feel. It's got a little bit of that, but it does still have a little metallic, just a more muted metallic. Overall, though, both really gorgeous. I don't think you can go wrong. It's uh, a good problem to have. Well, hopefully that helped you out a little bit and didn't confuse anybody even more. What do you think? Brooklyn gray, skyscraper gray, both grays are great grays. <laughs> anyway, hope you're all having a good one and uh, make it an especially great one today. Take care.